people of the internet, Katie Don here, and I wanted to record this video because of, um, you know, a YouTuber, Soul, he created a video about this, and it was talking about his EX pluses, like, which one was his favorites, which ones he regretted, a 3 out of 3, and all that, so, I thought it was a cool idea, and I wanted to make a video about it, so, I was gonna do top 3 for these, but I don't think there's enough EX pluses to, um, do top 3s for everything, so, we're kind of going to follow his format. And also, these are personal opinions. Okay? So, don't get triggered when my least favorite, e my regrettable one is your favorite. Okay? Personal opinions. Uh, without further ado, let's get this train a-rollin'. Now then, to start this off, we're going to go in the, we're going to start off with the EX that was definitely worth the hype. And I must say, out of all the EX pluses that I have that are completely maxed, by the way, I wanted to point that out, uh, other ones that are completely maxed, I'm going to say that Arnea's EX plus maxed was absolutely worth the hype. She was flat out amazing. Actually, you know, I was absolutely worth to pull everything for her. It was a global first. I was just like, alright, that's fine. And then I saw what she could do, and... You know, it was definitely worth the hype. I maxed her out, and, you know, she helped in so many chaoses. It kind of sucks when, like, uh, a boss would be re double resistant to range. So it would make it a lot harder for Ari. But then you get, like, in parallel, such as Lulu and them. And eventually, uh, I think it's going to be either. Sa it's either going to be tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. Uh, what we're going to see is none other than the Beatrix EX Plus. And what I'm going to do for a video, um, what I'm going to do is that I'm actually going to pair both Arnea and Beatrix together to have both the have both the Global First uh, be in the same team, the Queens, and uh, do a Chaos with them. It would be a lot of fun. Now, the reason Arnea was absolutely worth the hype was everything she could do. She could delay. She could re-break like Vayne. She literally had extra turns like lightning. It was nuts, and her DPS was amazing. Heck, you didn't even have to bring like someone with a high attack um, support, such as Rosa. You actually could just kind of do it on her own, and she would do insane damage because of her high attack. The only problem was that uh, on her own, she could she could no way have to like brought herself back up or be guarded. So. To get taken with her a tank or a healer absolutely is a godsend for her. It's surprisingly amazing. When it came to the EX, that was actually my favorite to do. It was absolutely Vincent. It was not out of guilt. It's just that he was my favorite. He's my favorite character, or tied for first. Um, he's my favorite character. I loved his setup with all of his amazing debuffs. And then EX comes out with Cloud and... Oh my goodness, I, I had to max him. I maxed Cloud first because um, I need a lot of help with him, but after Cloud, it was straight to Vincent. Nobody else got EX Plus until it was Vincent. I skipped Fang intentionally so that I could max Vincent. And honestly, it was definitely worth the payout. He's my favorite. I love it when I can bring him into co-ops, just bring in so many debuffs, bring sap, bring... Attack down, initial brave down. It was amazing. He's he was my favorite to max out, and every single time I use him, I'm just like, I know this is gonna be good because of all the things he could do. He only really needed some auras if he gets ru if he runs out, and he just needed a healer really. Competent teams. It's very important in chaos. What I'm not happy with is his low um, stuff. I really hope that when he gets an LD and burst in the future. Well, LD at least, and a rework. I'm hoping his abilities get Splash, and his LD makes it so he gets some free ability usages. It would help so much with him, but besides that, he's my favorite. He was my favorite to max out. And then when it comes to the EX pluses that actually insanely surprised me, it was a two-way tie, actually. It was a two-way tie between Irvine's EX and Camelonaut's EX. At first, I saw everyone was just like, no, Camelonaut's not that really good. It, we were kind of in a period where it's just like one character was good, not even the main character. 
And, you know, I got Camelot. He looked fun. I, gr I grabbed his EX. I got Chantel those two. I never maxed that. But then, you know, I started to play with him. He's like, you know, I was like, you know what? He's kind of fun. I think I kind of want to max him. Uh, and then it was definitely worth the payout. Camelot with his insane, with some pretty good attack auras. Well, not auras. Good attack for him. He had a, he has an attack aura. And then with his super speed with historic rage on region, frostblade for paralysis, and great wheel for delay. It was fun, really. It's really fun to play with him, actually. Just to see him zoom around with an ice blade and great wheel everything away. And with a hundred percent I'm pretty sure it's a hundred percent uh HP damage. Yeah, a hundred percent HP damage to everything. It made it a lot fun. Irvine surprised me. I had so much fun playing with him earlier, before he even had EX. It was just fun just to see him blast everything. EX plus, I decided I wanted to max it. I skipped out for Noah. I'll max her when her LD comes out on, uh, in the future. And I did that. I was just like, I hope this is worth the payout. Or, w it was worth it. It absolutely was. Irvine hits surprisingly well. His range down debuff makes it really good for anyone with a range move, such as Arnea. He can speed down stuff, and he heals with an EX. And with debuff action long shot, he can make those last forever on the enemy. And it super surprised me. I was just like, holy crap, this was a good investment. I got surprised by these two. It's a dead tie between which one I actually got surprised with the most. But these two, they surprised me the, they surprised me the most, and that's why they're here. <sighs> this is the rough part. EX... I regret maxing. It was Garland, really. I regret maxing Garland, really. If there's any way I could like go back in time and know that I was going to beat that Queen Chaos, which was a pain. Oh, I can't wait to. I w can't wait for that lost chapter just to floor that thing. It caused so many nightmares. But you know, after I did that, I got Garland because he looked pretty cool, but. The thing is, I never used him once in a chaos. Not once. I used him for Leviathan grinding because of delay, but he just didn't provide much use. He didn't have any team auras. He really only would just delay. And he would just keep attacking and attacking and attacking. Not like Vayne, but like, he just keep delaying them, but his buff was too short. It was annoying, and I never used him, and I wish I didn't go for him, honestly. I thought it was be cool but i regret it and he's he was my least favorite to use i only used him for co-ops really if i was up for it i was just like you know what i haven't played him a lot i just want to get it one round with him that was the only reason i used him was co-ops so he was my least favorite and the one i regret to max out here's the one that i want more out of honestly and it's celius celius is still really good I'll be honest, you know, EX Plus, she can pull a lot of things off, set lock all, it helps to lock everything in, you know, runic with magic absorb to raise her max brave and all that. My only problem was that she just couldn't, it felt like she couldn't be used that much, because it was only a magic absorb, which makes sense, that's what made her unique, but looking at a moveset like Shine Edge feels like it doesn't do anything, Spinning Edge for her EX is fine, Lock All's fine, Runic's fine, it just feels like with the EX Plus, has she started with Runic and maybe Shine Edge done Splash, I would have gotten more out of it, plus her damage is kind of low. So, if she got more, like maybe later she'll get an LD and it helps her a lot, yeah, I'll, I'll be excited for it, but she's kind of the one I just want more out of. Pinello was a guilt one, honestly, and I'm not ashamed of it. Absolutely not. Pinello is surprisingly amazing. Early days, she was awful. Like, she was cater levels of awful, except she barely had anything she could do. She would only buff. Like, she wouldn't get an HP+, plus, Brave+, plus. she wouldn't get anything. And then with this free work, her amazing EX+, plus and all that, I guilted her. I decided, you know what? I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna max her. Absolutely worth it. And, yeah, I use her for chaoses now, and 
she absolutely helps. I'm proud of it. She was the one I guilted, and I pulled for. I didn't like her at first, but after all this, she, I decided to go for it, and it was worth it. I honestly say it, it was worth it. Finally, to top this whole thing off, the EX I'm most excited for, for the EX Plus era. And that, of course, is going to be my favorite female character, tied with Vin- and then tied with Vincent for my favorite Final Fantasy character of all time, it's Aerith. I always make sure that, when it comes to Aerith, I always make sure that when new summer boards comes out, she always gets them. I always make- I have to go and, uh, grind her perfect artifacts, which some of them have to be cur- which they have to be cursed, but it's honestly worth the grind, really. When her EX Plus comes out, she has a lot more damage capabilities, and her healing, her buffs, her overflow, and her brave regen, it makes her a really good character, and very competent, too. If there's one EX I'm going to be excited for, it's this one. I will say, though, close second, uh, it's a two-way tie, honestly, between Lena's EX+, Plus because she gets nuts with it. Because once she gets that, you know, you get Sephir EX along the way, she gets a rework, and her EX+, Plus just helps the team in so many ways. It helps so much. And tied with her is honestly Rydia, favorite character from Final Fantasy IV. Uh, her EX Plus, she gets an animation change, so he no longer has the fog machine. And she just does a lot of damage. She gets a small re rework too, Flare does splash. It's, but yeah, the EX Plus I'm most excited for is Aerith's. And the second, like the month is going to come out, it's next month actually. Next month when Diablos, uh, summon trials come, I'm maxing her instantly. Uh, anyways, I think that's gonna about do it. Um, oh, and there's one more. Let me get to those. For EXs, I wish I wanted the max. Um, this was close between the three. But honestly, the three I regret not maxing. Either because I didn't have resources or another character came along and I decided to max them. It's Bart, Noctis, and Edgar. I regret not maxing these three. Reason being, Bart's amazing bra uh, brave battery. He has gravity. His EX comes out nutty fast. He can keep the whole party alive as long as he has a healer with him. Problem is, when Bart's EX came out, uh, I didn't have it at the time. Like, when Bart's EX first came out, I tried to get it, failed, uh, came back around for Brothers. Uh, that one I was actually aiming for Yuffie. Because Yuffie was a Final Fantasy VII character. It's my favorite game. Uh, as of now, I ha have to play the other ones when I get to it. Uh, and Yuffie, when I saw her EX, I was just blown away. I had to max her. And thus, Bart was kind of left in the dust. Uh, Noct, I'm definitely maxing him when his LD and Birds come out. Because when that happens, he's breaking the whole meta. Uh, but... The thing is, I wanted to max him early. The problem was, is that Aranea came out and gave Noctis EX Plus early. The thing was, I went for Aranea. She was global first. I wanted everything for her. And I maxed her out, and thus I kind of left Noctis. I still, I still haven't even maxed all of his boards. And finally was Edgar. I had a lot of fun with Edgar. With just base EX from Realms event... He was a lot of fun. He had sap, he had attack down. He just had so many competent things. And the chainsaw, the chainsaw move was just so cool to look at. I only could zero out of three of them because when his EX Plus came out, which was London Reigns event, uh, I was debating between Edgar and Camelot. And I decided Camelot because uh, despite every how fun Edgar is, I maxed Camelot because I know he was really strong and I felt like he could help me with the chaos a bit more than Edgar and absolutely he did so check out the video but these are the three I absolutely regret not maxing but yeah that's about gonna do it hope you enjoyed uh thanks to Soul for giving the idea and allowing other content creators to use it we'll see you all later